I'm going to show you how to make some really simple Spanish cheese straws and some chorizo sausage rolls. Now I'm going to do two for one party because that is how easy they are. I'm going to start with my Spanish cheese straws. I've got some Just Roll light puff pastry here. Now I like using this reduced fat one for this one because when you're adding cheese and stuff, you don't want it to get too greasy. So this is a really good balance with the cheese that we're going to be putting in. I'm just going to unroll it in front of me. And I'm going to leave it on this paper now because this is going to help me fold up my cheese straws later. I'm going to start with some cream cheese. And I'm just going to spread this over half of the pastry. That's great. Next up, I've got some manchego cheese here. It's kind of like a medium cheddar, so kids are going to love it. This is just giving it that sort of Spanish twist. And then last but not least, I've got some paprika. So this is a sweet smoked paprika, so it's not spicy. Again, if you're making it for kids, they're going to love it. And now we're ready to assemble. So I'm going to use the paper to help me fold this up. And then gently peel back that bit of the paper. Perfect, this is our base. I'm going to flip it now. And now I'm just going to roll it, not to make it any flatter really, but almost just to stick all the cheeses together so they don't spill out too much when we're cutting. I think that's fine. And now I'm going to cut them into our cheese straws. I've got a sharp knife. Start in the middle, so I'm going to cut it in half. And then again, straight down the middle of this half. And again, straight down the middle of this half. And now you've got four quarters, you just need to cut each one roughly into three. And now we're ready to twist. So just carefully pull up each one, hold the ends and literally turn the other end. And then my little trick is because we've got this lovely soft puff pastry, I literally just push it down at the ends to help stick it to the tray and that's going to stop it unrolling when it's in the oven baking later. Right, and now these are ready to pop into the fridge. So they really need a good like 30 minutes chilling because I don't want them to unravel when I'm baking them. And then when they're nearly done, I'm going to make some sausage rolls to join them. So my cheese straws are really nicely chilled, which means it's time to make my sausage rolls. And I'm going to start with the filling. So get your bowl and we'll start with the chorizo sausages. Now these are the cooking ones. I'm going to take them out of their skins. I'm just going to score the skin with a knife and then it's easy to peel away. And then I've just got four normal kind of pork sausages. Squeeze from the middle, turn it around, squeeze from the other end. Last one of these. Then I've got some fennel seeds and then I've got some cooked shallots. I've cooked these literally just in a bit of oil in a pan and it's really important to let them go cold. Finally, I've got some parsley. The only really way to mix this is to get your hands in because everything needs just a really good squelch about. And let's get our pastry. I'm using just a Just Roll Classic Puff Pastry. It's really nice, it's light and airy. It's going to be really crispy and flaky once we've popped our filling in and baked them. And it's already rolled for me. Top trick. I'm not taking the pastry off the paper. What I'm going to do is I've got some good kitchen scissors. I'm going to cut all the way through, paper, pastry and all. We'll work on one at a time. So I'm going to take about half of the filling and starting from the top corner, I'm going to run along. Right, I reckon that looks roughly even. As I roll it, I'll just start to peel away the paper and then I don't need this anymore. Make sure your seam is underneath, your joins underneath. And I'm going to glaze this with some egg wash and a little bit more fennel right to the end. And now we're ready to cut this in the middle and then each one into three. Now they're ready to pop on a baking tray and I can make my second batch. So I'm going to get another six out of this. We're going to have 12 ready for the party. So my cheese straws are ready and they've cooled. I'm going to stack some of them up in this glass just to make it look a bit fancy. I've got the girls coming over, so I've put some hummus out with them. We can dunk a bit. I've just bought some olives and these smell absolutely amazing. Um, so I think for these, I'm just going to pop them on a plate and they'll still be lovely and warm for when everyone arrives. And I think that's it. It's time to get the party started.